With permission from Scholastic, today I will read you a book about birds. This is a non-fiction book. And as I read it, we will discuss the text features that we find in the book. Birds by Penelope Arlon and Tony Harris. This book has a table of contents. First, it had a title, which is a text feature, and it has a table of contents with different titles on it. And just by reading the title, it's telling us what the main idea of this book's gonna be about. It's going to be about, that's right, birds. We're gonna learn all about birds. What is a bird? Birds are really cool. They are the only animals that have feathers. All of them have wings and most can fly. A bird has two feet and a beak. All birds lay eggs. Most look after them until the eggs hatch into chicks. Did you know that birds are related to dinosaurs? Some dinosaurs have feathers, had feathers just like birds do. And there's... Cool colors. There are over 10,000 colorful kinds of birds. Feathers. Look for feathers on the ground. Can you tell what each type of feather is used for? Here's a long wing feather. A fluffy body feather. And a stiff tail feather. Feathers have different jobs. Birds use long wing feathers to fly. Stiff tail feathers help them change direction in flight. Small, soft body feathers keep a bird warm and snug. They trap warm air against the bird's body. Some birds use their feathers to show off. The male peacock fans out his amazing tail feathers. The color of a bird's feathers can help it hide against the background. This is called camouflage. If you look carefully, you can see the bird hiding. Flying high. Have you ever wondered where birds are flying? They fly to travel, find food, or escape danger. Swifts fly long distances every year. This is called migration. Curved wings help them glide. They can even sleep in the air. A hummingbird flaps its tiny wings so fast that it can hover in air while it sips nectar from flowers. A penguin can't fly. It uses its wings as paddles and flies through water instead. A bird flaps its wings up and down. Air is pushed down. This lifts the bird into the air. It's flying. Birds that fly can have hollow bones. These make them light, which makes flying easier. A bird's whole skeleton may be lighter than its feathers. We can't fly. Some birds aren't able to fly, but they are pretty good at getting around in other ways. The Kiwi of New Zealand doesn't need to fly. It has no natural enemies. Penguins are the best bird swimmers. They also walk and slide on ice. The cassowary can run and swim. 
Some can also jump twice their height. The ostrich is the biggest bird in the world. It is too big to fly, but it can run as fast as a racehorse. And here we have them right there, the ostriches. Brilliant Beaks, another title. A bird's beak is perfectly shaped to eat its favorite foods. Some beaks catch fish, some beaks crack nuts. Beaks come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. They are used for grooming and for fighting as well as for eating. Super senses. Birds have pretty powerful senses. They can often see and hear far better than we can. A barn owl has one ear slightly above the other to pinpoint the smallest sounds. The owl swoops silently towards its prey. A kingfisher can see clearly underwater so that it can catch fish. A king penguin mom can hear her chick among the thousands. A vulture can sniff out dead animals to eat. Storks have sensitive beaks. They can feel fish brushing past. Using its sharp eyesight and hearing, the barn owl catches a rat and eats it whole. Fantastic feet. Wings are cool, but birds have neat feet too. A chicken has toes with strong claws. It, it scratches for food. A heron has long, thin toes that help its balance as it wades in soft mud. A finch has th three forward facing toes and one facing back for perching. An emu has three thick toes for running and kicking. A duck has webbed feet, skin stretched between its toes and it helps it paddle. An eagle has long sharp claws called talons to grab prey. The blue footed booby has blue webbed feet. Birds of prey are great hunters. Hooked beaks and sharp talons help them catch their prey. There's the hooked beak and there are the sharp talons. There are about 200 types of owl their special feathers let them swoop silently down on prey. An osprey dives down to catch fish from 60 feet in the air. One toe can turn to help grip the fish. This bald eagle has a seven and a half foot wingspan that allow it to fly fast and glide smoothly. Vultures eat large dead animals. They have bald necks to avoid getting blood, bloody while they eat. Look at the vultures. Whoa. Making nests. Nest keeps eggs and chicks safe. Some birds build amazing nests. Some some birds build round nests in trees. Both parents often help build them. Owls may find holes in trees to nest in. The chicks hide inside. A weaver bird's nest hangs from a branch. The door is at the bottom. A puffins digs burrows they line them with leaves, grass, and seaweed. Maybe this is like a hole in the ground. Some birds don't make nests. They lay spotted eggs on the ground. Storks can build nests high up on chimneys. Hatching eggs. Baby birds grow inside eggs. 
The eggs must be kept warm and safe until they hatch. The yolk of the egg is food for the chick until it hatches. In spring, a female blue builds a nest in a tree. She uses moss, fur, and feathers. The mom lays one egg, one egg a day. She sits on it, on the eggs, to keep them warm. The chicks hatch after about two weeks. They are blind and bald. After about 19 days of feeding, the chicks are ready to leave the nest. Both the mom and the dad feed their chicks. Chicks. Chicks are cute, but they are hard work. Most chicks need to be looked after until they grow adult feathers. Flamingos and their chicks live in big groups to keep extra safe. Here's a gull chick, a parakeet chick, a duckling, a sparrow, and an owl chick. Some chicks are born with fluffy feathers. These fall out and adult feathers grow. This is called molting. Baby birds have to learn fast. When their wing feathers have grown, chicks in high nests jump out. They must figure out how to fly very quickly or else bump. The weirdest beak. The sword-billed hummingbird's beak is longer than its body. The tail feathers of the male crested orgus is nearly six feet. The Arctic Tem travels 50,000 miles every year from the Arctic to the Antarctic and back. The heaviest flyer. The Cory Bustard is, is the weight of a five-year-old. It's the heaviest flying animal. Most feathers. Swans have more feathers than any other bird. The fastest bird. The peregrine falcon is the fastest animal on earth. It dives from the sky at 200 miles an hour. The stinkiest bird. The Hulsin of the Amazon rainforest is pretty stinky. It smells like cow poop. There he is. The loudest bird. The three waddled bellbird makes a loud bonk sound. It can be heard 5.5 miles away. The best talker is the African gray parrot. It can copy hundreds of words. It can also whistle and make alarm and tool sounds. Here he is. I hope you enjoyed learning facts about the birds as much as I learned reading them to you. And now let's discuss the text features of this book. Our book had a title. It had There's the title. It had a table of contents. It had pages that had titles and captions on it. Little captions and with facts in it. With different titles on it. It had a chart of the life cycle. And when we got to the back of the book, it has a glossary. So if I didn't understand the meaning of a word, I could look it up like bald, without feathers, beak, a bird's hard pointed jaw, 
birds of prey, a bird that kills and eats animals and other birds. Right here, if I didn't, if I want to make sure I understand what I'm reading, I'd look at the glossary. If there's a word I come across, I don't understand. And on our last page, we have the index. And that's where if we're looking for a particular word, like let's say African gray parrot, it says page 29. We could turn to that page and find that word. I hope you've enjoyed meeting some fine feathered friends. Do you have a favorite bird? What facts do you know about birds? Can you draw a chart of the life cycle of the bird? Can you write at least three facts we learned about birds today? Well, I hope you enjoyed learning about birds as much as I enjoyed reading to you about them. Thank you.